everyone! I am here today with episode number two of my Lippy A Day project. I have to admit that as I was going through the footage for my first video, I was thinking to myself, is anyone really going to like this because it seems so monotonous and so tedious to just be clip after clip of me putting on lipsticks. But you guys sat through it like champs and you gave me such great feedback that I'm really excited to continue on with it and to improve this series as well. So hopefully I will eventually come to the end of my lip products and this series won't go on forever, but I think I'll still be able to put together at least two or three more episodes. So thank you guys for staying tuned. For this video, I have made a few minor changes. You'll probably see more changes coming for episode number three. So I would say there were two main suggestions that came out of all of the feedback. One is to have a little bit of a closer look at me when I'm putting on lip products. So unfortunately all of the clips that you're gonna see in this video I had filmed before getting that feedback so I wasn't able to alter the filming of the clips but I did edit in a way that I zoomed you guys in a little bit closer. I know the footage will be a little bit more grainy but hopefully you'll be able to see the color a bit better on my lips. And for the next video episode number three I have changed the way I I've filmed the actual clips themselves, so you will be able to get a closer look at my face when I'm putting on the lipstick. All of the footage is still going to be in my bathroom because I don't have the time in the morning to set up my DSLR and do all of the lighting and all of that. The other comment was to have a little recap at the end. Now, last time I did the video, I actually did all of the editing after I filmed the intro and the outro, so that's why I didn't really reference anything about which lipsticks I was keeping versus letting go of because at that that time I didn't know. But this time I've already done the editing of all of the clips so I know exactly how many I'm keeping versus letting go of so I'll be able to share that with you with a little recap at the end. So with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into the clip. Today's lippy is going to be Sorbet. This is a Revlon lip butter. Every time I wear a Revlon lip butter, I'm reminded by how much I like the formulation. I'm eager to see how I like the color throughout the day and whether I feel I will get any wear out of this in the future. Today's lipstick is by M. Michelle Fawn and it's in Miss Money Bag. Another really pretty shade that is right up my alley. I have worn this before and I remember it being really comfortable on the lips. This formulation is a little bit like a lip butter but more emollient. Today's lipstick is going to be this one from M Cosmetics. It's called Misty Mauve or Mauve if you're in the US. This is another shade that I've worn a few times in the past and I really, really like it. I want to do kind of like a stormy gray type look today because it is raining out, so it's just my mood, but um, yeah, that's gonna be my lippy today. Today's lipstick is going to be Syrup by MAC. Again, this is a shade I've worn a lot in the past and I really, really love it, so I'm excited to um, pull it out again today because I haven't reached for it in a very long time. Today's lipstick is by YSL. This is the Rouge Volupte line. Not as sheer as the Rouge Volupte Shine. This one is in number 13. This is a really light peachy pink. I don't really think it looks that great on my skin tone though. So, hmm, I don't know about this one. I'm gonna have to review the footage before I decide. It's a beautiful texture though. It's really creamy and soft and glides on very smoothly. Today's lipstick is my last remaining Starlux lipstick. This is in the shade Cream Caramel. This is another shade that I used to love, but putting it on today, it feels a little slick in an oily sort of way. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be keeping this. So I'm actually gonna try a, another lipstick today because I don't really want to wear this one. And I have a feeling I have a lot of shades that are similar to this because I am so drawn to nudes. So I'm just gonna pick out another lipstick and put that one on. So I decided on this one by Laura Mercier. This is in the shade Brown Sugar and this looks very similar. So here is Brown Sugar On. I'm really happy with the texture of this one. It feels um, less oily and it doesn't have um, the same scent that the Starlux one did. I think the Starlux one was a little bit too old and was going off. Before I try on my lippy for today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my Laura Mercier lipstick. I really like the formulation, but I wasn't 100% happy with the color by itself anyway. So what I'm gonna do is review the footage before deciding on this one, but this is on my maybe list. Today's lippy is going to be the Clinique Chubby Stick in Mega Melon. 
I love this shade so much and I'm really really excited to wear it today. I liked yesterday's chubby stick so much that I'm going to be trying another one. This one is in Super Strawberry. Here is Super Strawberry on my lips. I really, really love the texture of these. They are so comfortable on the lips and they don't dry my lips out. So I'm really excited to pop on this shade today and see how I like it. Today's lipstick is a really old one. It is Harmony by Belvada. It's got a lipstick on one end and a lip balm on the other. I already put the lip balm on this morning and it feels great. And then now I'm going to apply the soft pink color. So I really, really like the color of this and the texture feels um, very nice still. So I don't think this lipstick has um, really changed much since I first got it. Today's lippy is another one of my favorite bold shades. This is by Ardency In and it's in the shade Circa Rose. Here is Circa Rose once it's been applied to my lips. Again, this is one of my favorite bright shades. It's a beautiful matte and I'm really excited to wear it today. I actually worked from home today, which is why I pulled out a bright lippy and I just put on my makeup. I went barefaced all day as I was working and um, now I'm just getting ready to go for dinner with my hubby. Today's lipstick is going to be the Dior Addict Extreme in Silhouette. This is a very nude, barely there color, and I really like it, but lately I've been gravitating towards colors that brighten up my face a little more, so I'm gonna see how I feel about this one throughout the day. Today's lippy is also by Dior. This is the Rouge Dior lipstick line, and it's in the shade 169. I bought this lipstick in France a couple of years back and I really, really like it. I don't know why I haven't worn it more. It's probably because I have so many lipsticks in my collection and I kind of forgot about this one. So I'm happy to pull it out today and I really, really like how it looks on my skin tone and also the way it feels on my lips. Today's lippy is going to be my last YSL Rouge Volupte Shine. This is in number 14. This is a really beautiful coral shade and I normally reserve it for spring and summer, but I wanted to pull it out today because it's one of my favorite lipstick formulations and I wanted something that I knew could perform well because um, I'm going to be going out for dinner tonight right after work. Today's lippy is a Rouge Darmani Sheer and it's in number 600. This is quite buildable for a sheer lippy and it's got like that juiciness to it that I really, really like. It's kind of like a stained popsicle effect and I'm really excited to wear this today. Today's lippy is going to be this Tarte Lip Surgeon's Matte Lip Tint in the shade Glee. I think this is a really pretty shade. This still smells really strong of peppermint and it has a little bit of a tingling effect that I don't really notice with my other Tarte Lip Surgeons products. Although I really like this, I think I may end up decluttering it because putting it on, it felt a little bit dry. It just didn't glide on as smoothly as some of my other lip tints, even the matte ones. And I know the matte ones tend to go off a little bit faster because I've had, I think two or three of them develop that like white cast and I did end up tossing them. So I think I will let this go after I wear it today, but um, I just wanted to put it on and I think it's a really pretty color. It does have a little bit of, I would say like a rosy, orangey lean to it. I thought this would go on more of a true red, so even the color itself is not my 100% favorite. Today's lippy is going to be Plumful by MAC. This is one of my favorite MAC lipsticks for every day. I really like wearing the shade in the fall and winter, and I'm excited to wear it today. Today's lippy is going to be Role Play by Marc Jacobs. This is such a pretty nude shade, and I tend to save this for special occasions. It is my husband's birthday, which is why I wanted to wear it. But beyond today, I want to stop saving it and just start wearing it more on a day-to-day -day basis because I really do like this shade. Today's lipstick is by Shu Uemura, and it's in the shade CR330. This went on a lot brighter than I expected, but I think it's really pretty. I'm wearing it a little more sheared out because I am going to work today. My lips are super dry today. What did I use yesterday in terms of lipstick? 
Oh, I used my Marc Jacobs lipstick. We were at dinner a good three hours or so and I didn't have my lip balm with me so I just kept reapplying the Marc Jacobs lipstick and it felt great on but now today my lips are a little bit dry. So um, we'll see how this performs throughout the day and I'm not gonna forget my lip balm today. Today's lippy is going to be the YSL Glossy Stain in number 103. So I've put on a thin coat, I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to put on a second coat. I haven't used this product in a very long time. It still smells very nice. It's a little bit of a perfumey scent, but it smells good to me. I'm excited to see how it'll wear throughout the day because I don't really remember what the formulation was like. I'm probably going to do two more lippies after this, Friday and Saturday. We're leaving on Sunday. Today's lippie is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint in Grateful. And please excuse my nails, I am getting a manicure tonight. This is a beautiful nude shade that is right up my alley. Today's lippie is Impassioned by MAC. I have a feeling this may be a dupe for the Etude House lippy and the Maybelline lippy that I tried earlier this year in January that I loved. I ended up decluttering the Maybelline one, but I'm going to check to see if this one is similar to the Etude House one and possibly keep just one of them. Now that you've seen all of the clips, I ended up trying 22 lipsticks in this video and I will be letting go of six of them. Prior to editing the video, I had four definite tosses, but as I was editing, I added two more to that list. The first one is the Harmony by Belvada. I feel like I won't be reaching for this very often at all. I have other light pinks in my collection that I would prefer wearing and this packaging is also really bulky. I do like that there's a lipstick on one end and a lip balm on the other end but that being said in the many years that I've had this, I think I've had this at least three or four years, I've probably only reached for it um, a handful of times. So in light of all of the other lipsticks that I have in my collection that I want to get more use out of, I am going to be letting this go. The other product that I'm going to be letting go of, and this was a struggle for me, is my YSL Glossy Stain. While I do like the product, I really don't reach for these, and this is a lip gloss type product in that there's a wand and bacteria can form inside. I actually have three other glossy stains. One is unopened, but the other two I have tried and I'm going to let those go as well. So besides this one, there are two other glossy stains that I'm going to be tossing. The final thing I wanted to mention, and this was a suggestion from my friend Vanilla Heart 62 is to wear my favorite lipstick in the intro and the outro, and I thought this was such a fantastic idea. So when I was editing the clips for episode two, two lip products jumped out at me, and oddly enough, they were both like peachy type colors. I wouldn't say they're coral, they're definitely more peachy pink. So the first one that jumped out at me is the YSL Rouge Volupte in number 13. And it's funny because when I put this on in the clip, my immediate reaction was, oh, I don't know if this looks good on my skin tone. And I still kind of think that, but this ended up being one of my favorite lipsticks. And looking back at the vlogging that I did for that night, I just love the way this lipstick looked. Maybe it's because it's a little unexpected on my skin tone, that's what makes it special but I ended up really liking this. The other one was the Clinique Chubby Stick in Mega Melon, and again, both of these have kind of that peachy lean to them. I just loved both of these so much, but I ultimately decided on the YSL because I love the formulation, and I also really liked that surprise factor of not really liking it when I put it on, but after the fact, just falling in love with it and this was the winner for me for this video. So that is it for episode two of my Lippy A Day project. If you have any other feedback or suggestions for me, please feel free to leave them down below. I take all of your feedback into consideration and I just really like reading your comments. That is going to be it for today. Thank you guys, as always, for watching my videos. I will be back very soon with another one. Until then, please take care and bye for now.